I set out the basic postulates and the basic data on the subject of the power of the bloodline in two books. Here they are. This is the book, The Power of the Bloodline itself, that we will review today. In general, emphasis was placed, of course, on female functions, which are present in the power of the bloodline. Still, men also won't be offended because both the male component and the male function are also described here. The second book written on this subject is relevant to the everyday stories of my students, your predecessors. We discussed various life situations, family stories that happened in their lives, and tried to find the origins to understand the causes and consequences of various intricacies of life. That's exactly what we are going to do. I will try to make sure that none of your questions remain unanswered and that none of the incomprehensible aspects of the existence of your bloodline will remain unclear. I really hope you will help me too. Your questions, based upon which we will build clarification on some particularly complex nuances, will help us in this. So when you describe your life story, colleagues, it will be better if you would do it in quite a brief form. Since it is interesting to read the eight-page biography, but not too exciting on the air. Therefore, it is best if you will arrange your questions in such a way that all of us, including you, could be more convenient in drawing a conclusion about it. Among other things, there is a great guarantee that the brief question will find the answer faster than the long and detailed one. Although I am well aware that the life stories that you have can be presented briefly only when they have been experienced. While you are still into this story, you want details because you think details matter, but they only matter for the experience and not for the consciousness. For this reason, we can very rarely find the answers to life's major questions. As long as there is a personal attitude, there will be no answer. This answer could be found only when the personal attitude ceases to be any meaningful. And so let's try to understand the bloodline, try to understand such a concept as the power of the bloodline, and see in it a certain amount of systematicity, see in it some mathematical model. Некоторую систему, видеть в этом некоторую математическую модель.